Many of our viewers know about dog shows with their different breeds and standards, but most are unaware of the same kind of format for cats. Not so for Roseville residents Glenn and Joe Newton. Not only are they leaders in the local cat community, they have been able to show the top cat in the country. The organization that uh, I serve in as a regional director is the American Cat Fanciers Association. It's one of three major cat associations that operate in this area. Okay. And we have been around for 55 years. In fact, one of the clubs that's right here in the Twin Cities is one of the original clubs from the American Cat Fanciers Association. The purpose of the group is to promote the welfare of felines. Now, one of the ways we do that is by having cat shows that serve as competition between both purebred and non-purebred cats. These are some of the things that you'll find around the show hall, people grooming their cats, and then prior to going up to the judging cages, people will keep their cats in what's called the benching area, and you'll see signs that identify different kind of cats, such as the Selkirk Rex here, which is known as the cat in sheep's clothing. On some of the cages, you'll see a lot of decorations. Besides their uh, decorative value, they serve to keep one cat from looking at another one and getting upset because some of these cats are, have not made friends before in the show hall. And you'll see long-haired cats like this. Uh, you'll also see some that uh, have already won awards. You see some hanging from cages uh, in these pictures. This one looks like a little kitten, and you see a, a yellow sock doll to the left representing household pets. And as you can see, the cats really know how to relax in their cages here. This is before and after they go up to the judging ring. Now after a cat's been judged, and the judge has gone through everything in a particular category, such as the whole cats or the spays and neuters, the owners are asked to bring them up for a special final in which they win awards. Here's an example. Well, this is a Maine Coon. What? <laughs> um, this is a Maine Coon. He's a year and a half old. He's a red classic tabby. tabby. And uh, he's my love. He's my love. I just adore him. He's my baby. <laughs> I think when I said when I handle this cat, I said, it's bad enough to have a Cornish Rex pounce on your body in the middle of the night. I couldn't envision this one <laughs> pouncing on the body in the middle of the night. It's very he heavy. It's a lovely Maine Coon. It's my 10th best all-breed cat in the show. Thank you. So here's an example of judging. The exhibitor has brought the cat up to the cage. The judge has taken it out of the cage and is now looking at it on the table to see how well the cat matches the written standard of perfection for that breed. And you can see her making some notes to herself there. And these are the notes that she will use to evaluate this cat against all the others in this particular grouping. Uh, this happens to be the short-haired whole cats. And now as you can see from the ribbons in her hand, uh, even though we haven't gotten to the finals, this cat will win some awards for being best of her breed and best of color within that breed. Each of the cat shows has a theme, and the themes will vary from year to year. So for example, we just had a show in Wisconsin that was called the Year of the Tiger. This one is based on a state fair theme, and we call it the Great Minnesota Purr Together. If you go there, you'll not only see uh, a hundred wonderful cats, but you'll also ha have the uh, option of eating food on a stick right there without having to wait for the state fair to come. So another show coming up is Movie Star Cats, and you'll see cats uh, that during a special competition may be dressed up even in special costumes. So all of this is to make it more fun for the exhibitors while they're watching their cats uh, and for the spectators who are having a good time at the show as well. Glenn and Joe maintain the website for their club, Cat Tales Cat Fanciers. You can link to them and the American and North Central Region Cat Fanciers at ctvnorthsuburbs.org slash nsb.